Hey everybody, Mike with On Point Preparedness here. Over the last couple months, I've gotten a whole variety of people asking me for preparedness tips. Many of you that have subscribed with me for a while know that that's how this channel originated. It was all about physical preparedness and prepper stuff. And that sort of morphed into this Christian and prophecy-based channel after I had been saved myself. But, you know, a lot of people are worried that something is going to go down soon, myself included. And so I want to mold the two together, both the Christian and prophecy subject, along with the physical preparedness, because I still feel that that's incredibly important. So I'm going to shoot for at least one prepper-based video per week uh, to help you guys out. I'm going to try and do some interesting subjects that you're probably not going to find on a lot of the other prepper websites. And the first is going to start with this. Bug out bags are incredibly important, and when you look at all those lists, they all pretty much resemble the same kinds of lists, but I'm going to give you an additional tip, and you, you typically won't see this tool in those other prepper websites. So all over Europe, you see these concertina wire, the military razor wire fences going up. Hungary, Belgium, you know, just everywhere across Europe, borders are going up. And I know that this refugee crisis is like a Trojan horse in many cases, but there are definitely a lot of families and true asylum seekers, Christian families are trying to escape from the violence. And this is a real possibility. You know, my plan is to bug in, but there may be a, you know, a time where you have to bug out and it's not going to be ideal. And when you do bug out, what if you encounter border fences? It doesn't have to be the concertina wire fences. It could be um, chain link fences. Uh, it could be barbed wire, razor wire, you know, what do you do when you encounter this? Because uh, we already know that at least across the continental U.S., there is that invisible border where your Fourth Amendment is pretty much taken away, um, the search and seizure no matter what. And so here's something that I carry in my bag, and it comes from Harbor Freight Tolls, a very cheap toll store where a lot of the stuff is made from Pittsburgh steel. And I have a very small 12-inch bolt cutter. Now, this isn't going to go through a lot of your bolts. I mean, it may cut through some small locks, but this most definitely will cut through chain link fence, barbed wire, and concertina wire. Now, it is a product weight of about a pound and a half, which isn't a whole lot, but this really is an essential that I think you guys should keep in your bug out bags. It is going to be a little bit more weight, but, you know, this this may be coming here. Uh, you know... You never know what might happen um, when it hits the fan um, because there's going to be a lot of people displaced from a whole variety of black swan events. And you don't want to be caught in this situation um, to where you're having to really struggle to get through these wire fences and everything. So that's the prepper tip for this week. And I got a very special video for you guys coming up next week. Um, a really great company that I want to introduce you guys to. That'll help get you some uh, bug out gear on the cheap. This is Mike with On Point Preparedness. Hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you guys later.